what is up guys Boris here and I'm coming to you guys with the video on the hardest raid boss in the game that is Invasion Shanks and I don't believe I have done a walkthrough on him yet so I decided to go ahead and do a video because this again is one of the hardest dungeons definitely the hardest raid boss in the game and I think it's be something that might help out uh, those players trying to defeat him for the first time or maybe global players who want to know a little bit about what's coming up in the future so again because i haven't really made a video on him yet i'm going to go ahead and explain how you run into invasion shanks he's similar to invasion whitebeard young whitebeard and the way you run into young whitebeard is that you have to fight him but uh, you have a chance of fighting him after a certain raid boss now with shanks it's even more difficult because for shanks you have a chance of running into him after doing a coliseum and from what I've noticed personally is that the higher the stamina, the more chance. But again, that's not I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not yet. So I don't want to make I don't want to make that statement just yet. But I have noticed personally that when I'm doing the 50 stamina Colosseums, he shows up a lot more often. But whatever the case may be, this is a very difficult raid boss for two specific reasons. First off, you have to use the same team that you beat the Colosseum with. Now, Colosseums are already very difficult. A lot of them are way more difficult than most raid bosses. They require very specific teams, and uh, they're just difficult overall. And to be able to have to run that Colosseum right into the Invasion Shanks makes it uh, difficult because, again, you do have to run the exact same team you run on the Colosseum. Now, the other thing that makes it difficult is the fact that the boss itself is, diff is hard. Um, Going up to Shanks, maybe it's not that difficult. There are some stuff that make it annoying, uh, like the first room. If you don't have Blackbeard, like I'm running a, a friend Blackbeard here, so it makes it pretty easy. But the first room can actually be pretty difficult without a, a Blackbeard ability. But Shanks himself is just insane because of the uh, amount of abilities he has and just how much he interrupts your overall specials and it's just really difficult to take down if you don't have a game plan going into it but I'll explain more about Shanks as we get closer to the final room overall the team I've run here I was doing the Diamante Coliseum with and uh, it's a pretty solid team Cavendish Blackbeard again one of the top combos in the entire game uh, able to clear a lot of content and Overall, you know, we have Marco to heal back up. Diamante, uh, rare recruit who stalls and does a bit of damage, which is nice. Uh, Usopp for more, even more stall, and then Sabo. So, uh, overall, uh, pretty pretty consistent team for this. I highly recommend this team here. And ignore the little loot thing that showed up there. That's from because it's a stream highlight. But pretty much, uh, the way this is gonna work is the first room. You have three guys in the front with barriers and two, three guys in the back. You want to take out the guys with the barriers if you can, and I think with this team I go ahead and install, uh, take a hit from the bazooka guy in the back, and that gives me about six turns of stall. In the second room, uh, there is a purple guy that will chain a, a unit, but since I don't have any yellow units, um, I just go ahead and take him out. I install in the turtle. Third room there is Lucky Roo, as you just saw, we just defeated him. Just take out the guys in the back, take him out. He heals everyone a little bit every turn. But nothing too crazy. I think he does percent damage. Um, or this, yeah, never mind. I think Ben Beckman is gonna do the percent damage. Or no, it was Lucky Root, Lucky Root, sorry. He does he does do percent damage though as his hit. And he blinds you for four turns. So, uh, you know, it's gonna be kind of annoying. But take advantage of your meat orbs if you can. Uh, because you wanna heal up as much as, as much as possible for the final room. Although it's not really that necessary with Marco. Uh, I think you're gonna be good to go. And the annoying thing about Ben Beckman is that uh, on the third turn he's gonna berserk everyone. So take out the guys in the back first, and then you should have plenty of time to take him out. As you can see, with Diamante is really nice. Try to have a red unit for this room because this room, you know, considering that you're blinded, is gonna be really annoying. And as you see, I believe this Blackbeard has zero skill ups, so stalling for this is not that difficult uh, as long as you stall properly. As you see there, third turn he berserks. So just go ahead and um, you know, take him out before he damages you. And then we're going to move on to Shanks. Shanks invasion raid boss. The reason he's difficult is because he does a lot of things. And as you see here, as soon as you walk in, he does a couple of really annoying things. Clears all debuffs. Silences both of your captains for five turns. Uh, and also locks your specials um, for three turns, I believe. And then one turn at another random uh, person. So, yeah, you lose all your health for Blackbeard, but at this point it doesn't really matter. And thankfully he doesn't really hit for that much. Uh, you can actually tank a couple hits from him because I believe he deals around 9,000. Yeah, 9,200. So the whole idea here is to just tank hits until we can um, 
you know, get our specials back, get our captain abilities back, and heal as much as you can in the meantime. Uh, he, yeah, again, he seals your captain and your friend captain's specials for five turns, so pretty much you have to wait the, wait those out. And that's the whole reason we bring Marco. Marco is really nice, heals us back up to full, and now that um, our captain abilities are back, um, we can use it. Uh, and potentially combo with his orb boost to deal a little bit of extra damage. Now on top of that guys, Shanks does attack in a cycle of three different moves. First time what he does is he'll attack you, he'll clear all debuffs, and then he'll shuffle your orbs. Second turn he'll do the same thing where he'll attack, do clear all debuffs, but instead of um, locking, um, instead of swapping your orbs, he'll paralyze you for one turn. And then the third turn he won't do anything, he'll attack, but he won't do anything special. So it's a pattern of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So you really want to try to capitalize on the third turn. Uh, pretty much whenever he paralyzes you, which is the second turn, that's when you pop the special. That means you get three turns of attacks, just in case. Or I believe, um, yeah, you get three turns. So it's, um, I think it's very doable with this team, pretty consistent. Uh, and as you see here, I'm going to wait one more turn. That was the first turn, I believe. Maybe with the third turn. And just deal as much damage as you can. Uh, just deal as much damage as you can while you, while you have the HP for it, so that you can guarantee that you go uh, for the win. Uh, so here we go. What is he going to do? Okay, he clears debuffs and uh, does he shuffle or paralyze? He paralyzes. So here's what I said right here. You can go ahead and get the stall going. Again, Demonte's two turns, so that's exactly what we need. I'm going to try to get as many matching orbs as we can uh, going into the next turn. And then the next turn is when we're just going to go in with Blackbeard and everyone. So uh, overall, uh, again, consistent team. Uh, and Sobble damage is going to help us out as well. And this is, uh, by the way guys, for all you guys asking, I get a lot of questions every day on how to get the Whitebeard Skull and soon we're going to be able to get the Boa Skull uh, to evolve uh, to 6 star plus, Super Evolve or Legends. This is how you get them guys, they have a chance to drop on the Shanks or the Whitebeard Invasions. Um, I didn't manage to get one drop in this, they show up in a rainbow chest, if you see a rainbow chest, um, you, you know you got it on the previous rooms. But this is why I think it's important to get this video out now because a lot of people are going to try to evolve their boa and so maybe this team can help you guys farm that skull and you see there we go perfect took out Shanks and overall he is an amazing unit guys even if you just want to get him he is insane probably one of the best units in the game in my opinion legend tier he's a two times or booster for freedom so one of the few units I think only three units at the moment that two, two, two times or boost maybe um, I think maybe Frankie does or something else and on top of that, uh, he makes, I think, Tandem and um, Meat Orbs beneficial as well for Freedoms when you use a special. And on top of that, um, he also, I believe, removes Paralysis or something. So he's very, very good. High stats. I'd recommend it, guys. And overall, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. So uh, let me know if you have any more questions about either Invasion Shanks or Invasion Whitebeard. I might have another Invasion Whitebeard video soon. I don't remember if I recorded it or not. But overall, um, just hope the video helped. Let me know down below in the comments, again, if you have any more questions. And make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. With well, that said, guys, until next time, peace.